Honest Jenny. Once upon a time, in a small town called Riverdale, there lived three friends, Monica, Jenny, and Gloria. The day our story begins, Monica was very happy for her mother had bought her a special gift. Monica, come fast or you'll be late for school. I thought you wanted to show it to your friends in the bus. I'll show it to them in school. What if it falls from my hands and breaks? Thank you, Mother. This is the most beautiful, prettiest, loveliest pencil ever. You are welcome. Now rush, go, or the bus will drive off. So this is how we solve I have something to show you. Wow, is this a pencil or a doll? It is my pencil doll or doll pencil. I've never seen a pencil like that. I wish I had one. Don't touch it, it will break. Pencils don't break just by touching. What if it does? What is going on there? Monica? Sorry, ma'am. It is games. Out you go, everyone, but be back on time for your English lesson, okay? Come on, Monica, let's play catch. No, I have to stay in class to take care of my pencil. How silly, come and play. If you don't come, I will take your pencil and break it. <laughs> Gloria, don't say such horrible things. I'm just joking with you, come. I have forgotten my spectacles in the class. Gloria, please, could you go and get them? Yes, ma'am. Where is my pencil? It is not there. It has to be somewhere. Come on, look for it. What is all this ruckus about? Ma'am, my doll pencil, my brand new pencil doll. I can't find it. Where did you keep it? I had it kept in my bag and now it's not there. Are you sure you did not carry it to the playground or to lunch? I'm sure, ma'am, somebody has stolen it. <laughs> Monica, before accusing someone of stealing like this, go and look for your pencil. I will go with her, ma'am. First check Gloria's bag, ma'am. I saw her looking at Monica's pencil when she had come to class for your glasses. What do you mean? See, I don't have it. How can you accuse someone of theft like this, Monica? They looked for it everywhere. But the pencil was nowhere to be found. The pencil is stolen, ma'am. I am sure it is just lost, Monica. If anyone finds Monica's pencil, please return it. Jenny, come for dinner. What is it? Why are you crying? I am not a thief, Mother. I know that, Jenny. Tell me, what happened at school today? I took Monica's doll pencil. After we returned from games for the English lesson, I saw the pencil fall below her desk, so I hid it in my bag just as a joke. I promise. So just return it to her then. I can't. I was just about to give it back to her when suddenly she said that someone had stolen her pencil and they even said that Gloria had stolen it. 
and I got scared, Mother. Who will believe me if I tell them that I hit the pencil just for fun? They will all think I stole it. It is not what others think that matters, Jenny. Tell me, do you want your best friend to feel sad? Never! But what do I do now, Mother? Go to school tomorrow and tell everyone what you did. Say sorry and return the pencil. If I do that, everyone will call me a thief. Monica and Gloria will never talk to me again. That is a risk you will have to take. Do you want to do the right thing or not? Truth has a lot of power, Jenny. If you speak the truth, even if others are angry with you for some time, eventually they will start liking you again. Mama, I'm scared. Please come with me to school tomorrow. No. If I come with you, you will never learn the value of courage. You are going to have to do this on your own. Mwah. I love you, Jenny, and I'm on your side, okay? <laughs> okay. Has anyone found Monica's pencil? Uh, I have, ma'am. My pencil! Thank you, Jenny! You found it! No, I didn't find it. I took it. <gasps> what? Yesterday, Monica's pencil fell out of her bag during the English lesson, and I thought it would be a good joke to hide it from her for some time, but just as I was about to return it to her, she said someone had stolen it, and I got scared. And you kept quiet when they said I had stolen it. I am sorry, Gloria. I am so sorry you showed your bag and everyone believed you, but I was so scared. What if someone saw my bag and found the doll pencil? I'm really sorry, Gloria. Jenny, I am never speaking to you again. Jenny is a thief. Enough! Silence, everyone. Do you not realize that Jenny did not have to return the pencil? But still, she did. She could have lied and told us that she found the pencil fallen somewhere, right? It is all well to point out the mistakes of others, but it takes real courage to admit to our own mistakes. And Jenny has done just that. We should be proud of her. And tell me, class, isn't Jenny a nice girl and your friend? Hasn't she always been a hard-working student and a kind, helpful classmate to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Jenny had always been nice to everyone. She is kind, friendly, and hardworking. Yes, ma'am. Jenny has always been nice to everyone. She's kind, friendly, and hardworking. And Monica, you love your pencil. But that does not mean you panic so much if it is lost. How could you even think that someone from your class must have stolen it? I am sorry, ma'am. It is my fault that Jenny got scared. Anyone would have got scared if they thought that they would be called a thief just for playing a small joke. I am sorry, Jenny. I am sorry, everyone. We are sorry, Jenny. You are really brave. Sorry, Jenny. Only people who are brave will have the courage to accept their mistakes and speak the truth. Remember, honesty is always the right choice. <laughs>